Hello, hello. Here we are with the next chunk of uh, Fallout 3. And it is currently 3.20 a.m. on Saturday the 23rd of December, 2023. We are well rested. Life is good. And uh, we're going to head out. First thing in the morning. And get on our way. Some quests and bits and pieces to do. We're headed to Minefield today. For Moira. But I want to check in with her briefly. Because... Very low on ammunition. Now, I didn't realise... Dumb. I could have sworn that the, the Gauze rifle had very specific ammo, but that, maybe that's another game. Okay. Hello. Um. How are those hot little potatoes? Because, you know, they're on the ground. Like potatoes. And hot because they, um, explode. Anyway, what's up? Right. Um. I haven't been to Minefield yet, so hold on, yeah? It's not just because they say the place is haunted, is it? Because that's no reason to avoid the place. Ghosts don't exist. But landmines do. Oh boy, do they. And that's what we need to study. Okay. Fair. I know. I understand. Um, anyway. Uh, be a shop. Because. Yeah. Laser rifle. And. Gauze rifle. Use the same ammunition. And I'm hoping. No. Ah, okay. No, she does not have them. I was really hoping that she would. Oh, well. Dad says not to talk to strangers. I am not talking to you. I am not talking to you, child. But yes, so... Microfusion cells is what we're on the lookout for. So if we come across other vendors and stuff, we need to buy them. Because buying them is good. Because then we can shoot more things. We can use our gauze rifle more often. Uh, also, lawnmower blade, motorcycle gas tank, motorcycle handbrake, pilot light. Uh, we don't have a workbench. Okay, scratch that. We'll leave that here for now. Uh, me the other idea. Well. Alright, cool. And... I think that's pretty much everything. Let's get the fuck out of here. And make our way to Minefield. See who we can see along the way. Also... I should have... Yeah, do good. Which shopkeeper are you? Your doc, fucking whatever, yeah? Looking for your fix? Yeah, I know. Let's see what the good doctor has, a... has in his magic bag, shall we? Nothing f worth anything for me right now. Eat some grub. Try the All right. Lantern. So. I have two rounds. Oh, no, the landmines. Never mind. Do I not have my ghouls rifle with me? I do. About 30 rounds. About 30 rounds. 30 rounds is alright. Um. No. I, uh. I'm gonna head on over. And try to. Walk there, I guess. Oh, there's a red dot. We got a red dot right here. Another fucking Yagwai. Oh, it's a mole rat. Dagged him. He didn't like it. I do like how their pathing makes them run away. I feel like that was way more prominent in 3. 
Like, if you're on top of a rock or whatever, they just nope the fuck out of there. Hello, mole rat. Ooh. Fuck, that's a noise. All right. But yes, um, if you're on top of a rock and shit, enemies will be like, nope, can't touch them. Like melee enemies, obviously. They'll be like, nope, can't attack you, so I'm going to run away. But it's just, uh, today is just a leisurely stroll all the way up to minefield. And I know I could fast travel up to, uh, uh, uh the Maristi train yard and then continue walking. But, eh, I want to go for a bit of a trek. We haven't encountered much, uh, well, uncovered many locations yet on the map, so. A letter from vault Tech. I wonder what that says. Dear safety conscious citizen, we are willing to inform, oh sorry, we are writing to inform you that your family was not selected for inclusion in your chosen vault tech facility. Your deposit has been retained and your application added to a waiting list for your preferred vault. In the interest of your family's security in the event of a minor nuclear event, please consider relocating to one of these areas where vault tech facilities are available without a waiting list. And then blank. For a full list of vault tech facilities with available accommodations in exciting locales such as Oklahoma and the newly annexed Canada, contact your local vault tech representative. vault -Tec wishes you and your family the best of luck in the uncertain future. Best regards, vault -Tec Public Relations Department, Washington, D.C. Yep. Because vault -Tec are jerks. Ooh. Need a key. Alright. Interesting. Hmm. Okay, well we should try and remember that this is here. Good old red rocket. I want to check all the letterboxes too, because we could get, um... Magazine. Or things like that. What happened? There's one. Bam, right there. See? See? Hugilism Illustrated. Could make our punchies punchier. Um, nope, wrong one. Unarmed, increased by two, yeah. I think from here on out, aside from like lockpicking and hacking, I think I'm going to look at getting all my stats to like 90, maybe 95. But I don't think I want to push them to, uh... To max. Because it kind of makes all those magazines and shit. Like, they don't, it doesn't go up to 102, you know? Um... But for hacking and shit, I want it to be at 100, obviously. If I find magazines for them, then oh well. I also need to do up my guns and stuff a bit as well. Because I'm just not, uh... Not packing much of a punch. This is where we found silver, yeah? Yeah, it is. There's Vault 101 just here somewhere. Oop, oh, that's empty. Uh, I could go into the school, but the school is a bit of a thing. Pretty sure it's Raiders, but it's like a bunch of shit. Same letter from Vault Tech. Dear Mr. and Mrs. Gomez, congratulations on your family's recent inclusion to the Vault 101 community. You will find outlined in your application materials a full review of rules and procedures related to the preparing, or to preparing, for shelter in a Vault Tech facility. But we will outline a few key points here. Vault Tech provides all clothing, bedding, and accommodations for residents. Personal belongings must be revived. Nope. Personal belongings must be reviewed and approved of by an authorized Vault Tech Hermetics te technician before such belongings can be delivered to your reserved quarters within the vault. In the event of an emergency entrance to the vault, sorry, in the event of an emergency entrance to the vault, no personal belongings will be permitted beyond the main door of the facility. All vault residents must attend an orientation seminar 
If you did not attend such a seminar as part of the application process, you must make you an, an appointment with your vault Tech representative. In the event of a vault activation, whether actual or a drill, vault Tech will sound a siren audible in the immediate vicinity of the vault facility entrance, and residents will be contacted via holotape message at the phone number provided in their resident profile records. Please report promptly to Vault 101 to await, to, to await admittance and processing upon such a notification. vault Tech looks forward to having you and your family as Vault residents. Be sure to present this letter to your vault Tech representative to receive your special commemorative Vault Boy bobblehead toy. Sincerely, vault Tech, Department of Public Relations, Washington, D.C. So this was the Gomez's house. That's the security dude, Gomez, yeah? He, yeah, I'm pretty sure he was the friendly one. I think I liked him. I can't remember. Springvale School. No, I refuse. I refuse. It's like half an hour of hunting raiders and shit. Ooh, hey, I leveled up. Woohoo! All right, so we can keep smashing out barter if I want. We can max out lock picking. It looks like I intended to, because that is a perfect number of points. Um. Hmm. I need to get science up. I want to get speech up. I want to get sneak up. Repair. Medicine. Meh. Lockpick I need to get up. Energy weapons I need to get up. Barter I need to get up. Um. Okay, here's what we'll do. do that yeah get energy weapons to 50 and then next level we'll max out lockpick sounds good perk time I love perk time perk time's fun uh, alright so night person meh nerd rage meh here and now gives you another level. I mean, I feel like it's just such a waste of a perk, though. Like, because you're going to get the perk anyway. It's like saying, no, but I... Like, well, I want to play here and now. I want it to be done here and now. Like, you're going to get that level anyway, and you can spend the perk on something else. Because especially if you're playing a lot of content, I feel like this is only going to be useful to somebody that is like, well, I'm not going to play the whole game. Granted, I'm probably not going to play the whole game, but... Do you know what I mean? You know what I mean. You were there. Anyway. Uh, finesse. You have a higher chance to score a critical hit on opponent in combat, equivalent to five extra points of luck. See, that could be handy. You get way more crits. Animal friend could be handy. Um. Commando, gunslinger, scoundrel. I mean, our speech is maxed out, but it would give us points in barter. Um, intense training, I can put a point into something else. Stat wise. I feel like finesse is pretty handy. Oof, we got a lot of things. There's some good shit. But that's much later. So we can pick whatever now, but um, if I have a look at... Uh, what's coming up at, at 12? So we got Cannibal. You need corpses, but you lose Karma. 20% health bonus when using Stimpaks. Gain an additional 30 health points. With the Pyromaniac perk, you do plus 50% damage with fire-based weapons. Eh. Robotics expert, you have an additional 25% damage to any robot, but you can sneak up to them and shut them down. Silent running, you gain additional plus... Uh, you gain an additional 10 points to sneak, and running no longer factors into a successful sneak attempt. Uh, chance to hit an opponent in VATS is increased. Yeah, what do we need for that, actually? Agility 6, Perception 6. I don't have that. 
I do not have that. Um. Yeah, let's do finesse. I don't think I've ever picked up finesse before. The extra crits. We never ever played anything ever. Because I don't usually care about crits. I think the only time that I would have gone for any sort of crit build was when I played as, um... Uh, uh, uh... The name Maeve? No, it's not Maeve. Gage. When I played as Gage in Borderlands 2. Because I, I pre-ordered the Cool Kids edition of Borderlands 2. And it gave me, uh... It gave me Gage from the beginning. What am I stuck on? Stupid rock. Fuck you. I looked down for one second and they're like, rock. Um... Yeah, I did her, like, anarchy build. Which is like every time you miss, you shoot faster or something. I use shotguns and just bounce around the place. Pretty crazy. It was fun though. Game that. I feel like today's going to be a bit more of a chill session. I have noticed that... Uh, my... My... Um, my bot hasn't been talking yet. Which makes me think that the notification probably hasn't gone out. But that's alright. I don't really mind. Gives me time to chat with you. Relax for a bit. Wander the wastes, you know. Just chill out and go for a bit of a run. Like, yeah, a lot of the Fallout 3 map is very samey. Like... Unless you see a very direct landmark like the Washington Monument or whatever, you could look at most of the Fallout 3 map and be like, I don't know where I am. These cabins boarded up. Probably not all of them. We'll check their letter boxes anyway. Free war money, nice. Check this street and then we'll come back down the other way. Nope. Keep an eye out for any doors that aren't boarded up. I'll have that metro ticket, thank you. That was a red rocket. It's funny, the red rocket is just so fucked up. No Bowser, no building, nothing. They were just annihilated. Ooh. Don't look at the bugs. Don't look at the bugs. Um... What are you? What is this place? Hello? Hello? Yeah, I don't need either of them. I know the switchblade's pretty light, but still. And this one? Coca Cola. The weirdest shit that people jam in their fucking mailboxes. Like, I want to go to. I want to go to Minefield, but I also want to check out what this place is. I think it. Is it Big Town? I spit so long. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is Big Town. We discover it and I can move on before he's going to talk to me. Damn it. It's not discovered, is it? Not until I walk in. Hey, what is this place? Hey, who are you? I'm just traveling around, man. You guys look cool. Right. What do you want? Um... I don't know. I'm just wanting to look around. I'm not here to fight anybody. Well, you can never be too careful. Be warned, it's not safe here. Super mutants have attacked recently and carried off some of our friends. Come in, just 
Don't cause any trouble, okay? Okay. Here we go. It's covered. I'm out of here. I'll be back, Big Town. Mark my words. And onwards we go to Minefield. Yeah, I was going to say I did check that one. Hello, floating bush. I really need to repair my shit too. Like bad. This river's pretty. It's nice. Ha! Ah. Fuck you. Fuck out of here. What the fuck is that? What that? Wouldn't swim over here, that's silly. Why is this? Okay. Who else we got? You there with the rifle. Drop it. Uh. Come on. Hold still. I said hold still. Just knock him out of the water. Oops. That was. Oh, come on. I just hit the boat. No, I hit her. I hit her. That's fine. Uh. Where's your friend? Oh, hey. Hello. Hi. Listen. Come this way. A little bit closer. A little bit closer. Apparently that didn't hit you. Oh, no, 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 no. Charging on in. No, no, no. Oh, I love it. G'day, Robert. Welcome, welcome. How you doing? How's it kicking? It's kicking pretty good. It's kicking pretty good. Should have your points back from last time, by the way. All fixed up. And there is good stuff tonight. Well, we'll take that sip as soon as I have dealt with this fucker down here. Get out of the water. Oh, yeah, no, he's super dead. Never mind. Already used him again? I noticed. I noticed. But I also adjusted the price. Okay. What did you guys have on you? Do you have stuff? Discount? Hell yeah, exactly. What do you got? Some ammo. Fine, fine. What about this one? Oh, she got the pieces. Smokes and a hunting rifle. I'll take that hunting rifle because... I'm pretty sure... All my shit's gonna break. Did the other dude have a hunting rifle? Ooh, stuff. There's so much shit here. Some smokes, yeah? This one. What do you got? Radex? Sure, I'll sell that. Lovely. Someone wants to get waterboarded? Oh, always, mate. Always. My default state of being. Instamash, Radex. Thing in the pots? Nope. Bunch of tin cans, cut of cigarettes, pack of cigarettes. Bunch of pre-war money, hell yeah. Say like that. More smokes, hell yeah. Shotgun shells, stim packs. That's an adorable little raider camp. By the way, did this dude have... Stuff? Like a... He did, he had a hunting rifle as well. Okay, I'll combine the fuck out of them. I think I've got ammo for it too. Yeah, I do. Plenty of it. Plenty of it. So what are you up today, Robert? That was more words than it sounded like. Hello, Robert. What are you up to today? That was the sentence that it actually was. There you go. Fine. Shoddy shells. Lovely, lovely. 
Baseball bat. Cue ball. That doesn't seem... That sort. That game of baseball is going to hurt. That's going to hurt. You're probably going to break the bat. Not immediately, but it's going to happen pretty soon. You're using a fucking white ball from a game of pool. As a baseball. I do not want to be catching that either. You got Christmas dinner with the pharmacy folks in half an hour? Nice! We're at Christmas party. You look sad, though. You gotta leave in half an hour. Hardcore baseball, yeah. Uh, pick a pick. Pick a pick. Pick a pick a pick a pick there. Nope. And pick and pick and pick in. Pick and pick in. Nope. Pick and pick and pick in. There we go. That was a very easy lock, by the way. I'm just useless. What's in here? We got garbage. What's in this one? That. Ooh, mentats. I love you. And some smocks. Bit of scrap metal? Sure. Okay. And that's everything that is left. So they got two little shacks here, I guess. Little mini raider camp down by the water. Kind of. Kind of cute. Very open air. I wouldn't want to have the toilet up on the hill. Like, yeah, you'd want to have it away from the water, sure. But like, up on the hill might not be your best plan. I'd rather stay and hang out here. They're good and fun people to work with. But I've got little in common outside of work. Yeah. I know the feeling. I've, had, I've done a couple of them recently. I did one of them on... Wednesday night this week? I think. Yeah, Wednesday night. So the last day of work that I had. <sighs> Until New Year's at least, anyway. You like a good view when pooping? I, look, I could appreciate a good view while pooping. What is that? The church. Is this Moresti? Yeah, this is the train yard. Okay. What's this church? to see this church momentarily. Oh yeah. Let's uh put that there for now. A bad condition. Pretty good. Hallowed Moors Cemetery. Okay. I don't think I remember this place at all. There's so many different little landmarks and bits and pieces that I never... ...bothered exploring. I can hear a radio. That's Super Mutants. That is Super Mutants right there. This is with all the gore bags. We'll come back. I don't want to get stomped. That reminds me. I haven't saved in forever and it's a manual save game most of the time. Explosion? Keep hearing random explosions around the place. I don't know what they are. Something off in the distance just goes boom, and then that's it. Protectron and another Protectron. Okay. Well, that's Fucking fuck all. Ow! Wait. No. Whoa. What the fuck are they fighting? Just melted them. Was it me? Unless I hit the first one's fucking frenzy shit and they just murdered each other. Which could be the case. There's this cool place called the Deathclaw Sanctuary. You should go there. I totally should. It sounds friendly and nice and fun. I must have hit his fucking frenzy thing. That's sick. That was purely accidental. But I'll take it. Is 
Names mostly for purposes to keep people away. Yeah, yeah, of course. That's where they keep all the, uh, the, uh, ice cream and strippers. Ah, 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 ah. Kill the fuck out. Uh. 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 No. Can we go to the torso? There you go. It's gonna go ting. Do fucking nothing. That was a crit. Ting. Another one. Ting. Yeah. Sick. He's moving so slowly towards me. Oh, I probably should have aimed. Ow. There's our crit. That's what we wanted. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck that backflip was, but alright. He's a cool robot. <sighs> is this the fallout where you can get the orbital laser, or is that Vegas? That's Vegas. That's Vegas. I'm pretty sure that in one of the DLCs, it must be Broken Steel, but I'm pretty sure that you can uh, drop a nuke on a handful of different places and obliterate them. Seventy six style. Ah, bug. Ooh. I'm just slowly making my way over to minefield now. Have you like I know I know Nikali is a big fallout head, so I don't know. But have you played all the fallouts or any fallouts or some fallouts or you played three Vegas and four? Right, 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 right. Ah! He's ugly cat. It's funny that the hunting rifle is so good at the start. That's just, That was red. You see that? I was like, do not steal from this mole rat's corpse. There she is. There's Minefield. Do you have a favourite of the three or anything you prefer? Well, that's great. I even like four. I'm not sure about 76. I, was, I wasn't sure about 76. Um... I ended up getting 76 after Wastelanders and was sort of like, eh, it's fun with, with friends. Like, it's fun in multiplayer mucking around and doing stuff. I'm a big fan of, like, building bases and stuff and that kind of sucked me in. Um, a lot of the older quests are still in there and you can really see the difference between, like, the original quests and the new stuff that is a lot better that they added with Wastelanders and stuff. Um, oh, I gotta, I gotta adjust how I'm sitting. My chair's broken. And it hurts if I sit in the same position for too long. I gotta get a new chair. Um, but yeah, um, I like I like seventy six. I like the way that it is. Um, it's its own thing. Like, it's not quite as tailored as an experience as the other stuff. But honestly, putting it up against something like just moment to moment gameplay compared to Fallout 3 I feel like 76 has a beat hands down granted it came out 15 years afterwards or whatever 12 years afterwards or some shit but there's a lot in 76 that playing 3 now I'm like oh that's different oh that's different oh that's that's not there oh that's not a thing um you have discovered Le Minefield. Okay. I'm gonna fucking blow up. It's gonna be great. 
favorite i mean vegas has the best story obviously but it's dated no matter what people say four looks great and plays well but the story's a little lacking yeah yeah i i agree i i agree that you know four is not the strongest the gibson house hey the big old uh big old dark brotherhood handprint on the door oh hello hello mr raider uh, Ooh. damn it! You know I needed to fucking max out my lockpick for a reason. All right, well remember where we parked that model house. You'd love a Vegas remaster rework in the Fallout 4 engine. Yeah, yeah, that'd be pretty sick. Um, that would be pretty cool. I mean, unrelated. Ooh, tumblers today. I'll take you. Actually, I think it only puts it up by two, but. I will definitely take it. Um, unrelated, but word on the grapevine is uh, Fallout 76 is actually getting a proper expansion. Not just like more expeditions or whatever, but like a proper full-on like map uh, increase with a big heap of stuff attached to it. Oh, pre-war book! That's our first pre-war book! Yay! Dance with me, Raider. It's our first pre-war book. Yay! Happy dance. Good. Yay. Anyway. I don't know why I'm sneaking. Isn't 76's issue the whole multiplayer thing? I know what I've heard. I've never played it. Um... Okay, so not to the same degree of it, 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 bear with me. I'm not. I'm. I'm. I'm going to get to what I'm meaning. Just the way that I've structured my sentence in my mind, I already understand that that's weird. But not in the same to the same degree as something like No Man's Sky or um, uh, Final Fantasy XIV or, or that sort of stuff, um, or even Destiny Two for that matter. But all that seventy six was a bit rough when it started for a number of different reasons the multiplayer aspect the lack of npcs you know a few different things that were just a bit fucked um but but it has been improved over time uh substantially in a number of different ways um you can do a lot of stuff solo. In fact, there's certain things that you would want to do solo. Um, but it is a lot better comparatively. I think we remember like a shotgun trap or something. I personally really enjoy 76. I really enjoy 76. But it is definitely... It is definitely not for everybody. 110% not for everybody. Um, oh, that's kind of adorable. Sad, but adorable. They died snuggling. Oh, I broke them forever. Anyway. Another pre-war book. Hell yeah. I don't really know the story of this place, but I can't get this open. Fucking thing. Uh, wait, am I missing something? Is Fallout 76 eight bucks on Steam without a difference? Ah, uh, no, with a discount? Yeah. Oh, look. I, for eight bucks, there is more than enough Fallout to have fun with. Actually, can I sleep in here? I have snooze. Ten. Good. Eight bucks seems like I can't really miss up, uh, mess up, right? I mean, yeah. I mean, whatever your preferred, whatever your preferred platform is. If if it's eight bucks and you've got the disposable income and you're even remotely curious about it, jump in, check it out. Um, 
if you have any questions, because it's it's not like it is a different game, right? It's not like Fallout Four with multiplayer. It is a different game. Um, in the same way that if somebody was only used to playing Fallout New Vegas and jumped into Fallout 4, they'd be like, what the fuck is going on? I don't understand these systems. This doesn't work the way I thought it did. That's not how it is. That's changed and I don't like it. Like, the difference between Fallout 3 and New Vegas, or, four, or New Vegas and 4 or whatever, there is just as much, like, systematic difference with Fallout 76. But, there's a lot the same too. Um, there's a lot of carryover uh, a lot of things you'll be familiar with if you can suspend your disbelief to a certain extent fuck off what's his name oh that still hurt I was fucking ages away uh, Arkansas Arkansas's being a dick um, but yes if you um if you go into it being like Fallout 4 with multiplayer, you're going to be disappointed. Like, temper your expectations. It is a different game. But, if you embrace the differences that are there, because they're not bad, they're just different. If you embrace the differences that are there, um, you'll set yourself up for, at the very least, a good weekend, you know? Um, there's, there's more than enough in there to get an $8 weekend out of it. What type of differences are we talking about gameplay-wise? Um, so your carry weight, for one, is a big deal. Ah! Um, and shopkeepers and stuff. Like, because it's an online game with an economy and players can sell stuff to each other in the game because you can set up a shop and do all that sort of stuff, you will... Um, you'll find that the caps exchange and stuff is limited like you can't just you can't just wait the day away you can't just be like oh the shopkeeper's out of money I'm just gonna wait because it's a live server um oh I can't ignore the multiplayer aspect in its, entire, in its entirety you can ignore w intending to play with other people yes and if you really wanted to you can play completely solo without like on a, on a world that is completely solo um but there's more to it than that, but I'm simplifying. But basically, if you if you go into it and being like, oh, I'm going to wait for 24 hours or 48 hours or whatever the fuck it is so that this vendor has their caps back and then I can sell more shit, it's not going to happen. That vendors are out of caps? Tough. Find caps another way. Um, and there's plenty of different ways to make it. Um, and then... Uh like on top of that your carry weight like you can you can store stuff in your stash but your stash has a limited limited amount of weight to it and your stash box is across the board so you don't have like I'm going to build a new cupboard and then once I've built a new cupboard I'll be able to store more shit no you have a stash and your stash is it um, there are some little variances to that but in general it's like you have a certain amount of weight um, which I'm, I'm, I know that sounds really bad. I am playing up the negatives specifically to make sure that you don't go into it blindsided by that and go, this is fucked. That sort of thing is probably about as bad as it gets. Um, I'm a hoarder in these sorts of games. Like I'll fucking hoard everything. But, but, um, I really like it. I really enjoy it. Even though I can't necessarily hoard every little thing. You recommend game? Hard. What game? This game or Fallout 76? But how you doing, Soda Popinski? Stop shooting at me. Yik. I see you. I see you up there, old man. Uh, this game. Yeah, for sure. For sure, for sure. 
I mean, if you like Fallout, if you're interested in RPGs and that sort of stuff, yeah, for sure, 100%. It's fun. There's a lot to do. I mean, it's aged. It's a bit older, but it's fun. Thanks for the insight. I sadly got to go. Thanks for the stream. Too easy, Robert. Take care of yourself. Enjoy, uh, enjoy what you can. And you never know. I might still be here when you get back. I am, uh, I am actually going back to my old ways for the next week. The good stuff? Thank you. A parting gift. More pre-war books. It's beautiful. Blood. Okay. Mm-hmm. And kicking around in here. Get something upstairs, maybe? Oh. More raiders. Okay. You know, I thought he was alive for a second there. Darts. Everything else can stay there. It's like things like this. You can pick up and loot later. Further games. Um... Don't need that. Don't need more lunch boxes. I guess they were just looting the different houses. Journal of Internal Medicine. Hey, I'll take that. And pre war book. Ah, oh, beautiful. Love some good shit. Um, there it is. Ooh, medicine increased. Okay. Okay, snoop. Place is just destroyed. Like, more so than a lot of the other places. Pain gun, no. Conductor, steam gauge assembly, sensor module. It might have all the pieces for the, uh, the railway rifle. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Um, okay. Oh, hey. Take you to stims and stuff. Beautiful, beautiful. Oh, shit! Fuck off, Arkansas. I'm hidden. You're not supposed to be able to... Oh, God. You're not supposed to shoot at me if I'm hidden. Cheating. Oof. Get out of here. Pretty dead. Playground in the middle of town. Arkansas, fuck off. Holy shit, he hurts, like, real bad. I'm gonna leave you alive this time, Arkansas. Remember my mercy. Actually, you know what? Fuck it. Come here. Where are you? See ya. I don't know if he's dead. I just knocked him over and knocked the gun out of his hand. Fuck. That hurt. My arm. He's broken. Our table. Uh. That'll do. We'll be alright. Yeah, he's been up here for a little bit. Ooh. 
Yeah, no, I think he's dead. Pretty sure he's dead. Ridgefield gate key. All right. And now your watch has ended. Come on. Switch over in your spot. With the rest of your body. I'm amazed that I blew your legs off and your head off, but... I guess I technically I blew, like, your torso off. And there you go, bud. Room with a view. Plenty of bullets. Ooh, lockpick. Nope. 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 Another house to check there too, which we will have a quick look at. I don't know what that place is over there. Um, oop. Um. More landmine. Nope. Oh. But I want to go back. We'll see what sort of, uh. See what sort of reward Moira gives us. Ah! So many. I see them all everywhere. Get an XP for all this shit. Disarm um, all landmines, get all XP level. Ooh, bobby pins. I love you too. Thank you very much. Nothing empty. This house? Oh. Ridgefield gate key, hey? Give me access to this house. Ooh, there's a pre-war book. I love you. Thank you very much. Hmm. This place is different. Another hunting rifle. Okay. Bullet. The desk. Oh, nice little chunk of caps. You know, I was thinking about not coming to minefield today because I was like, well... I'll get a few mines, and that'll be about worth it. Or oh, about it. Won't really be worth it. And, uh... Yeah, we've actually got a whole bunch of shit. Heap of pre-war books. Heap of pre-war books. Oven. More darts. Everyone has darts. No one has dart boards. Kind of crazy. Should probably find them too while I'm here. Toy box. More darts. Okay. Dead human with pugilism illustrated. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Any more pre-war books? No, none of them either. Okay. Dirty clothes, I'm not interested in. I mean, if you're going to go out, why not go out in a nice bath, you know? We got that Pugilism Illustrated to read as well. Boom. A 
Okay. Are there any mines just here? I feel like there should be, but I can't see them. I know there's a second street over there, though, so we'll check that before we leave. Oh, yeah. Plenty of mines over here. Now, assuming that this house over here I can loot as well. Oh, all I did was disarm and I didn't actually pick it up. It scared the shit out of me. Um, yeah, we should be able to loot that. We should be able to clear it. Might get something nice out of it. Might not. No basement, no boxes. No cupboards. No. Okay. I know I'm not going to get all the mines. But I still want to be wary. Any basements? Any boxes? Safes? Nope, okay. Ooh, this one. Ah, oh, shit. Okay. Couldn't get close enough to it before it was ready to go off. This one. that? Oh, there's lots of them? It, it's got to just be rad roaches, right? Surely. Sounds like rad roaches. I don't think I don't think crickets are in this one. I don't think crickets come around until four. Missed the third one. Oh. Oh, exploded. I don't need all this rad roach meat. Really don't. Pre-war book. Oh, hey. How you doing, everybody? Can we go back to just torso? Yep, hold on. Shoot him again! Hey, stop biting me. How did I miss at point blank range? It's bullshit. Free box. So for those that aren't in the know, pre war book is basically like finding a hundred caps. Any pre war books that I find, hundred caps, boom, straight up. Why is this room full of bodies. Hmm. There's so many. The gun's about to break too. Surprise! Oops. 
Fuck you, Red Riches. Everybody dead. Still two more. Hi. Gates, darts, more darts. Rockneck the Barbarian, lovely. I think that ups my melee. Probably. Yeah, melee weapons increased. My pre war books. Hi! Good little buddy. Never mind. These pieces. Plenty, plenty. No safe in this house, huh? Full of rad roaches, no safe. Oh no, here we go. Uh try forcing the lock. Oh, all right, cool. Oh, dirty clothes, not interested. Okay. All right, we're done in here. Want me to make another shish kebab? Um, let's zoot back to Megaton. Once we're back there, probably sleep overnight and then go to Moira's and cash our quest in and sell some shit. It's also a good plan. Put the gun away, which is good. I need that in town most of the time. Okay. You're just the dump heaps of shit box, aren't you? Yep, ten of them. All this stuff I've got in here just in case I need it for like crafting, I guess. Uh, ch 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 cherry bomb. All the pre-war books can go in there. This one is weapons. Yes. Um, ditch the sawn off in there, the scope magnum in there. Sniper rifle can go in there as well for now. Assault rifle too. Um. Food. I don't notice. It turns out I'm accidentally eating and drinking everything. Done that before in games. It's never fun. And this should be closed. Reach for 10, lock pack 1. I mean, that's pretty good. Okay. Oh, we're going to sleep too. I 
don't know why he's just hanging out in the bedroom. It's a bit creepy. Okay. And then I think next... Next, I think we'll go and we'll... We'll go and fuck with GNR. Go and find our way to 3-Dog. 3-Dog! He's a good fella. Hello, child, again. How are those hot little potatoes? Or whatever. You know what I mean. I do, I do. I got through Minefield Alive and I even brought you a present. My very own landmine. Oh, just what I've always wanted. Well, always since I sent you out on this anyway. Now, tell me all about it. What was it like going through there? What's it like disarming a landmine? Chaotic. You run quickly. Uh, yeah, fast hands and faster wits get you an awful lot, including landmines. That's a pretty good way of putting it. I think I'll use that in the book. Good. Maybe I should credit you as a co-author instead of just a researcher. However you want. I know you may not want to see any more explosives for a while, but obviously you know your way around them. Have a couple rainy day toys of mine. And looking at this landmine, it gives me an idea. It's a terrible device that does terrible things, of course, but it's easy to make your own, too. Yeah? Give me the bottle cap mine recipe? Fuck yes. All right. Does that finish our first chapter? It most certainly does. And if I keep writing in the style of some of your reports, this is going to be one mighty slick book. Fuck yeah. Here, for your services, I've saved up quite a few stim packs. Of course, you may need them. We've still got two more chapters to go. Of course, of course. I understand. All right. Well, let's start researching the next chapter then. The second chapter is going to be a bit trickier, I think. It'll cover how to handle creatures out there, for better or worse. For example, repelling mole rats, uh, learning about mire lurks, and when all else fails, how to handle being injured. So let's buckle down and get to work on this chapter. What's first? The mole rat repellent sounds fun. Studying mire lurks, I remember. I'm pretty sure you're gonna go and kill. I think, I think you're gonna go and kill the mire lurk king. Randomly on the way to Washington. Um, yeah, I'm going to regret mentioning this, but what do you mean about injuries? Well, I never get to study anyone who's severely injured. Not without them crying to be fixed right away or trying to bleed out and all that. Of course. But obviously, you can handle a lot of abuse. So if I'm ever going to find a good example of human anatomy and injury resistance, it'd be you. Next time you get badly injured... Return here, so I can examine you before I heal you up. I mean, you're going to get yourself hurt anyway, right? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Very true. I guess I'll get hurt eventually. Might as well, uh... Might as well come here when I do. Wow, what a great research assistant you are. I mean, really, that's dedication. Demonstrating how to withstand pain by getting injured? Wow. When you're ready, come back here with some serious injuries. Maybe a crippled limb or two. And I'll take notes and fix you up. I'll be waiting here with plenty of bandages for you. So don't worry. Just go get horribly injured. Oh, and be careful. Get horribly injured carefully. G'day, Bob. Welcome, welcome. How you doing? How's it going? I'm going pretty good. Going pretty good. I'm hoping you're having a good day too. Where be a shop? Absolutely. Okay. Does she have... Oh, she has microfusion cells. Fuck yeah, let's do that. I am. Uh, alright. Now. She's got scrap metal. I'll have that too, because that's worth 10. 
Um. Anything else cool? Not particularly. Moira's one of the best NPCs in a Bethesda game. Yeah, she's pretty great. You're also good. Good. I should get me some liquids before the holidays start. Yeah, some uh, some party liquids. Or you mean just water? <laughs> I'm assuming party liquids. G'day, Slag. Welcome, welcome. How you doing, buddy? Um. Yeah. Okay. Good. She's paying me now. Is wonderful. Uh. Uh, 85, so there's another, what, 74. What we could do four. There you go. No, not zero. I don't think there's anything else that I want to get from her. I guess maybe some stims. I've got... Yeah, I'm going to just get all the stims. Because then I can sell her... All these radics. And a couple of these medics. And um a right away. Oh, that's right, I had all these too, didn't I? Fuck. They were like the one thing I wanted to sell to her. I will keep these because they don't weigh anything them too. You just have a bunch of these. Not bad. Bit of a cold, but cracking on. That's the spirit. That's the spirit. Nah, for vaping. I stopped drinking five months ago and had my last cigarette yesterday. Ah, okay. Righto, righto. Keep that right away too. And, uh... You can have two packets of cigarettes, and that should be breaking even. Beautiful. My ammo. 110 mil rounds. Not particularly low on anything. Uh, Fusion cells, mini nukes, missiles. Not really. I think we're pretty good. Good right. hunting. Thank you, Moira. I'll be on my way. Take care. It's a big wasteland. But you know that better than me, right? Them THC liquids. Yes. Yes. It's not something that is uh, necessarily, we'll say, obtainable here in Australia. But uh, there are definitely parts of the world that I do envy for some reasons. You haven't smoked weed for four years now, and I don't want to do that again. I mean, I haven't smoked weed for four hours, and I do. Yeah, I mean, everyone has different responses to it. Everyone has different uh, different feelings of it. Like, they have, well, everyone has their own opinions. So they're all perfectly valid. But, um... Yeah, I have, uh... Have, I have, I have, uh... I am appreciative of... How can I word this? I am appreciative of... Um, certain... Uh, yeah, anyway. <clears throat> well, how do you... Um... You seriously wanted me to go out and hurt myself for your book? Oh, don't think of it as crippling yourself for me. Think of it as getting free treatment when you eventually end up getting yourself hurt. Right. Um, I went to the wrong um, place because I was too busy thinking about plants. Um, I need to come up here because old mate needs to buy my scrap metal. Not that you'd know. No, 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 no. Of course, of course, of course. What do you we mean? are all, um, 
we are all pure, innocent-minded, um, lost lambs, I guess. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I don't know what this this uh, THC is that you speak of. Is that a new? Uh, is that a new K-pop band or something? <laughs> uh, anyway. Um. Okay. Okay. So specifically for VOD viewers that are watching this on YouTube at a later date. That brings us to the end of this chapter, our trip to Minefield and back. I hope you have all had an awesome day. Yeah, K-pop. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. K-pop. It's the new, uh, the new, the new band. T THC. Um. Totally happy crew. I don't know, something like that. Anyway, um, <laughs> for VOD viewers, uh, if you're watching this tomorrow, ten years from now, or long after I'm gone, you're awesome. And I'm sure you'll hear from me again. I will catch you next time. We'll make our way to 3-Dog. See ya.